Hi, it's been a busy week in Washington. The House has actually passed two more bills that are focused on helping create jobs. Also want to mention we've gotten a lot of good questions again from throughout the district. We'll just jump right into it. First question we got here is from Robert in Bloomington who writes in urging me to support passage of a well-funded, multi-year surface transportation bill that includes strong funding levels and programs for public transportation. First of all, I agree with the long-term solution that is needed as a part of investing in our nation's infrastructure. In fact, this week I actually signed a letter with a lot of my colleagues on a bipartisan basis asking the President to focus on a long-term solution to transportation funding. I'm also a co-author of legislation on a bipartisan basis that will invest in our nation's infrastructure by using our own domestic energy resources on the royalties and the funding from those sources to put that money into our nation's infrastructure, which is badly needed. Got another question here from Elizabeth and Edina, who wrote in via email with her concerns regarding onerous regulations that are helping put a damper on our economy right now and our recovery. She writes, even while gas prices continue to go up and recent turmoil in Libya and the Middle East further threaten America's energy independence, the Environmental Protection Agency keeps pursuing a policy agenda that will only make matters worse. First of all, this actually focuses on one of the bills we passed this week called the RAINS Act, where it will now require Congress, much like a board of directors would act, to approve any regulations that have a significant economic impact. This is designed to make sure that regulatory agencies and unelected bureaucrats are not making decisions over the voices of Congress, and there's accountability there. And certainly, these economic impacts are slowing job growth. And so, we passed a bill this week. We'll continue to focus on that in the future. I want to encourage all of you to continue to send in your questions via email or Twitter or Facebook. Don't forget to visit my website at paulson.house.gov and stay in touch.